The element silicon has a metallic and shiny blue-black appearance. Silicon is not naturally found as an element, but rather combined with other elements to make compounds. For example, beach sand is comprised mostly of the compound silicon dioxide, or SiO2. I'm going to try to extract the element silicon from sand using magnesium metal. First, I'll add some granular magnesium metal to the sand in this test tube. After shaking the test tube to blend the contents, I'll heat the mixture with a blowtorch. Once the mixture gets hot enough, a chemical reaction takes place. In this chemical reaction, silicon dioxide reacts with magnesium metal to form magnesium oxide and elemental silicon. There are some other chemical reactions happening here too. You might notice a small amount of white product. This product forms as magnesium reacts with oxygen gas in the air to form magnesium oxide, which is white in color. In addition, magnesium silicide, or Mg2Si, is also produced due to the chemical reaction you see listed below. Like elemental silicon, magnesium silicide is black in color. Watch what happens when we pour some acid onto the mixture of products. Oh, that's cool! We see a bunch of tiny little explosions. In this case, I'll add some acid to this beaker and then pour the product into the acid. Yep, once again, we get the tiny sparking explosions. What's going on here? Well, magnesium silicide reacts with the acid to form silane gas through the chemical reaction you see listed above. Silane gas, or SiH4, is the silicon-based analog to methane, or natural gas. Just like methane, silane gas is flammable. Interestingly though, silane gas does not need a source of ignition to burst into flame. It spontaneously reacts with oxygen. The chemical reaction that drives this flammable process is seen below. Substances like silane gas, which spontaneously ignite when exposed to the air, are said to be pyrophoric. I think it's really neat that a pyrophoric substance can be made from something as simple as sand. Finally, I'd like to show you one particular experiment I did where I was heating sand and magnesium together in a test tube. In this case, some flammable gases must have formed because it shot a flame out of the test tube. Check it out. 